Hey guys, this is Andre Smirnoff with the Fast Lane Truck and with me... Kent with MrTruck.com And this has been a very exciting year, 2016. We have seven brand new trucks coming out. That only happens every hundred years. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Not very often. I mean, yep. I've seen some four new trucks in a year, yes. but this is pretty exciting. This is seven. But you know what else came out this year? What? Truck Nuts the book. Oh, that's even more exciting. Yep. How often do you see that? This is Fast Lane Trucks <laughs> Guide to Pickup Trucks. And of course, we co wrote the book, but Nathan and Roman were also involved in it. Yeah, it was a and collaborative it's, effort. It's a guide if you're a truck guy already or a gal, but, or if you want to buy a pickup truck, there's a lot of good information in this book. And it's available on trucknutsbook.com. That's right. And you know, everybody loves this book. You look at the reviews, there's 17 of them now on Amazon. Everybody talks about how much they love it. So I think it's. You got a good chance of getting the very best book you've ever seen on trucks. And Christmas is coming, holidays. It is. But what we really want to do here today is to count down top seven brand new trucks for 2017. So yeah. number seven is the 2017 Chevy Colorado ZR2. Yes, and you actually got to see these in was it LA? Yep, I went to Los Angeles uh, where they had the debut of the truck and they had a off-road course set up yeah. near Los Angeles. And you know, I could not drive it. But you know the most exciting part about it is that chin spoiler's gone. Completely You've got gone. Got approach angle now. You can actually climb something. Not only is it gone, but it's a whole brand new front end. The oh. bumper is different with yes. a cutout. Uh, you got new hood on the truck. Of course, a lot of excitement here. You know, it's wider. Yeah. It's taller. I saw that. And it wasn't just a wheel offset. No. Like on the Tacoma, it's actually a wider axle system. Axle and the front A arms. Yeah. And it's got a diesel option. Yep. What else could you want or in the truck? Or V6. Yeah. And eight, really eight. trick um, shocks. Yes. Very, very trick yes. shocks. And that and new 8 speed automatic is with that V6. Yes. Number six. Number six is the 17 Titan 1500, that half ton that replaces the old half ton yep. back, what, 2002 or three, And that's awesome. I pulled the trailer with it. Yep. Well, it's a Pro 4X. I love the Pro 4X. So that's we tested also, you know, you tested the light duty Titan. Mm -hmm. TFL truck also tested it. We took it up our cliffhanger 2.0 mountain trail and how did it do there it did really well actually it surprised me because i was concerned about the chin because the approach angle on that pro 4x is not that high mm -hmm. but it tackled the trail without even touching the skid plate but there's a real skid plate under there yeah actually i, I really like the one in the eight in the xd the pro 4x and this one has that new 5.6 it's been redone and it's got the new seven speed automatic so you know it was it was a fun truck and I'm just gonna kind of lay into it a little bit. I'm not really worried about these lighter rocks. I just know that a little bit of momentum up this thing will make it work better, and it is working. Engine's great, good power. Number five on the list is the 2017 Honda Ridgeline. It's replaced, I mean, it's the next generation of the original Ridgeline yes. that Honda had. And it's basically sort of the most crossover car-like midsize truck out there because, you know, it's got the independent mm -hmm. suspension front and rear. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a good size cabin. Um, and it has a lot of trick features like the audio system in the bed. Yes, I've seen that. But Roman went to the original debut event of the truck, mm -hmm. and we also did an eye gauntlet test, yeah. Nathan and I. Well, then we had it with the five trucks, the midline, the midsize class. Yeah, and we took it off roading. Yeah, it almost uh, went halfway up the hill or whatever <laughs> it did before it got hot, so. Number four on our list is the 2017 Tacoma TRD Pro. Yes. So it's a little bit wider, offset tires, right? Right. right. Um, it's got a little bit of more body clearance, but not much more ground clearance on this truck. Oh. But it has Fox shocks. Yes, we know so about Fox shocks. We know about, you know, that's coming up on our list. Yes. Um, and of course, it got the skid plates, it's got you know, it's really off-road ready and it comes with a six-speed manual transmission even. 
but we also took the TRD Pro, the new one, on a cliffhanger 2.0 trail, and it did really well. He's got to stay to the right. There he goes. Put the wheel on top of the bend. Perfect. Nice. Avoid it. Come around. Come around. Perfect line, Nathan. Looking good. I can get a good bite on that rock. Look at that. That's how you do it, dude. The number three truck is the 2017 GM Duramax diesel. Unbelievable. We finally get to see this truck. <laughs> they have teased this for like two years. Camouflage here, camouflage there. Yes. We thought it was never going to come out. Finally, it's here. But both of us were in Texas, right? Yes. At the Texas Motor Speedway. Yeah. Uh, doing laps yeah. on the oval. We built 10,000 pound trailers. Yeah, that was really yeah, exciting. And then 60 to zeros, I mean, or zero to 60s, whatever they were. And it was impressive. It's got that new hood scoop that, you know, runs that cooler air in there. But that's not for power. That's only to keep the engine cool when it is under stress. I mean, they cranked it up to 910 foot pounds of torque. Yep. And it, it, you know, it, like the other trucks, when you have all that power, Ram and Ford both did that. They actually limit where it kicks in this, the power. Mm -hmm. A Ram is like third gear, and on Ford, I think, jumps one gear, so put on a dually, it's first. These let you have it all the time. So, you know, I was 10,000 pound trader, and I was spinning the tires. With dualies, yeah, right? Yeah, so it, it's a kick in the butt. I'm just kind of surprised that they do that. They don't torque limit it like that, like everybody else does. The Duramax engine is all new. The code name is L5P mm -hmm. on the Duramax. It's still a 6.6 .6 liter V8. How did you manage to go from 760 pound foot of torque to 910? That's a huge jump. Well, you sat through Gary Harvan's presentation, I did. right? 90%. Gary's crew are the ones that did that engine, so you got to give them the credit. But, um, yeah, they, they, their main mission, they had new regulatory goals they had to meet for emissions. So not only did they meet the emissions, but they took advantage of the changes they had to make to the engine and gave us more torque and more power. Number two on our list is a 2017 Ford Super Duty. And this truck is all new, right? Yeah, yeah. From the frame <laughs> up, the frame is new. Right, right. Right. The body is all aluminum. I mean, where do we, how do we even explain how much they've done? Well, they got seven cameras. <laughs> it's actually the same cam on the 150, so we know the cab. And that makes makes a little lower belt line. It makes actually a bigger cab, bigger back seat area, floor area. But yeah, it's got uh, more. It's 925 pound feet of torque, which is pretty amazing. It makes it the top on the torque war. Yeah. But I mean, it's got uh, what is it now? 40 some gallon tank. How much is the fuel tank? They got some gigantic number on yes, the fuel you tank. Yes, you can option up the, the tank. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's you know, and it's a thicker aluminum than what the F-150 was. So they try to make up for some of the whining about uh, that on the, the bed, bed right? on the 150. But yeah. Right. But both of us went to the launch event of the Super Duty. Yeah. And we actually did the midnight I Yes, we did. Thirty thousand pounds in the dark. <laughs> right. <And> an <laughs> F F-450. It was a very unique test. Kent, what are we doing here at midnight at the bottom of our eye gauntlet? Well, we have a 2017 Super Duty F450 Platinum, but we're towing 30,000 pounds. And this is the Super Eye Gauntlet, but it's more than that. Yeah. It's the ultimate midnight Super Eye Gauntlet. Yes, all that and a bag of chips. That is so cool. Okay, so we're finally to the top truck that came out in 2016 for 2017. I it's not this one. I can't reach the book. <laughs> it's on the cover of oh, our book. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, really? That's a 2017 oh. Raptor. If we can get the book. There it is. Look at this. That's a 17 Raptor. So you, want, you also want to get the book just to have that cover. Right, but the book is not just about the Raptor. But it's about everything. But it's man. about everything. Oh, was that fun in the sun? I did not get to drive the Raptor. You did. Tell uh, me about it. I was out in the desert and I got to do rock climbing. I mean, this is like a giant ATV with air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wow. yeah, oh, it, it, on the road, because that's off the right, which you know about the Raptor you have, it was great on the road. You know, you can fly around there, cornered really well, uh, anti-sway bars front and rear. But on rock climbing, you got the camera up front, you can actually watch the rocks. I mean, that is really impressive. How about, so it's got more travel, right, suspension. It's got three-inch right. diameter Fox shocks. Yes. And what's cool about the modes is when you switch it from sand to snow or wherever you want to put it in, then it'll change everything. It'll change your engine, it'll change your shifting, it'll actually change your ABS. In some instances, it shuts off the ABS. So, it, and you don't have to put it in low range, you don't have to do anything. You just push the button you want or the knob, it's, it's in the steering wheel, mm -hmm. and then the, everything gets adjusted for you. I mean, you can do it manually, but that is so cool, you don't think about it. Uh, how was the power and how was this, everybody talks about the sound. 
How was that? Well, that's the, everybody I rode with liked the sound, not just the Ford guys, but the, you know, to me, it sounds like an Indy 500 car. It doesn't have as deep a throat as a V8, but mm -hmm. it does have a deep throat for a V6. I thought it sounded very sporty, so I don't mind the sound at all. It's dual exhaust all the way back, three inch pipes. It's got the big ones, and, and it, yeah, and they've changed so much stuff on that truck. Roman went to the event, and he also drove it in the desert at high speed and rock crawling, and you can check out the video right now. Steering gets very responsive. The throttle becomes, well, usable with your big toe so that you can give it precise amounts of throttle input. There's two more inches of shock travel, and everything from the front of the bumper to the end of the transmission is now protected. So there's skid pads, including ones under the fuel tank. So if you hear any kind of scratching or bashing, hopefully it's the truck doing its duty. How about we do the bonus? We always do a bonus, right? The bonus. The bonus. We were both in Texas, right? Yeah. And Ram had the press conference in the morning before the Texas State Fair, or the State Fair of Texas and there was a truck covered with a sheet and then the wind came up <laughs> and it was trying to lift kinda. the sheet off the truck and it was just kind of trying to jump out yeah. and kind of leap leap out of the stage what was it the truck was pretty high it's a trx so it's like a rebel modified to be a really cool you know supposed to be a raptor hunter yes. and it would look awesome it, right. it was good 37s i mean you only got 35s on the raptor so it had bigger tires but mm. it had Caro seats, it had four point harnesses. It had a cage in it. I mean, oh, everything. It well, was... this this is a concept, right? Right. So the Ram Rebel TRX was unveiled in Texas. It was a concept, mm -hmm. but it had basically, they wouldn't say it, yeah. but it had the Hellcat version of the engine. It was a 6.2 liter Hemi with a supercharger, not 707 horsepower, but still over like 550 horsepower, they were saying. Yeah, you know, you know, Raptor right now has no competition other than maybe like a power wagon or all that. So if you folks get on there and write to Ram and say, hey, we want that Rebel TRX. 6.2 liters, 575 horsepower. Supercharged Hemi. Happy charged Hemi, yeah. Are you ready, Andre? <laughs> can't be street legal. <laughs> you know, no matter what you start out your day with, yeah. you fire that bad boy up and you smile, no yeah. matter what's going on with your day. So yeah. it's, a, uh, it's a great addition to the Ram brand. 2016 was amazing, really exciting for the truck world, right? I think it's gonna get maybe not as amazing, but still really exciting for the 2017 because potentially you have, what, the Ford Ranger coming out. Yeah. Um, you know, eventually we'll see the new Ram half-ton, the new Tundra half-ton. I mean, there's still a lot of excitement in this space, so stay tuned for the auto show season that's coming up in January. Fun time to go truck shopping, for sure. So you can go to tfltruck.com for more news, views, and real world reviews, and where else can they go? MrTruck.com. <laughs> yep. Thank you.